Welcome to, what do we even call this? This is Cupid's Hotel, Planet de Venus. I don't even know, but welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. It's really amazing. This is typically a date night, right? But we're in lockdown. So we're gonna do something a little bit different tonight, which is get into a mother fucking love vibe. And it's gonna be glorious. So before we get started, if you have a friend that you know would love to be here and be watching this, hit that icon that looks like a little paper plane and send it to them. And while you do that, I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom of these comments so I can actually see what's going on. Cause right now I can't see, oh my goodness, so many comments. Okay, je suis dead with comments. Amazing. Okay, yes. Ah, I'm so excited. So I told you guys I would love for you to dress up for this because it's important to be in the vibe. So I'd love to hear what you're wearing. I know that sounds like what someone would say in a creepy internet chat room, but truly, I wanna know what you're wearing. Did you get dressed up for this? Cause I did, honey. I'm in my literal hologram hot outfit. And this is my like magic robe that doesn't get trotted out often, only for rituals. That's what it gets used for. So. I'm so excited that you're here. Thank you for joining. Okay, so it's really interesting because when I was posting about this and saying we were going to do a love ritual, I got some really amazing DMs from women who are in all kinds of situations. Some of them are single and like thinking about getting back into dating. Some of them are married and, you know, want to inject more love into their relationship and do more fun things. I had a woman whose husband just left her and her heart is fucking broken. So we are really here for all of that, the whole spectrum of experiences. This is about feeling good where we are right now and really bringing in anything that we need, bringing in anything positive that we're looking for. And this whole ritual is gonna be about positivity and good things and what we want, not what we don't want. We're not even gonna think about that tonight. We are gonna talk about what we want and start drawing that in. So in my instructions for this ritual, I told you guys to come prepared with an essential oil if you had one. So if you have your essential oil ready, hit that hot button. I would love to see how many of you have your essential oil ready to roll. Let me know. And if you feel like it, you can tell me in the comments what essential oil you are working with tonight. Because we're going to do something lovely with it. So I personally am using an oil. It is almost empty. I'm going to hold this carefully so I don't set myself on fire. I'm wearing many flammable things, including hair. This is gratitude oil. And it's very, very special. This came from a shop called Flossies in Miami, which is no longer in existence. And uh, Flossies was owned by a little old woman with pink hair. And she sold oil blends that she made herself. She sold crystals. She sold candles. And she also sold posters of Tupac. So hey, I think that's the best evidence ever that you can be totally multifaceted and that that is awesome to the right people. So this gratitude oil, this is the second bottle of it I've ever owned because the first bottle of it I used in so many rituals with so many women in so many different cities. I ran out and I had to go back and get some more. So this is a blend oh, and it smells so good. And every time I smell it, I'm reminded of these amazing rituals I've done with women, the transformation that's taken place, the letting go of things that don't work. Mm, it smells so good. So here is what I want you to do with your essential oil. I want you to take the lid off this and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to inhale the scent. And I want you to just Breathe it in and let it fill your body. Like let it take you somewhere else. Let it calm your system. Let it bring a peace to your body. 
a lot of us are in a place of consistent, constant, never ending fucking transition right now. So smelling something that brings us back to center is really important. And I love to do that with scent. So why not sniff something that smells amazing? It smells so good. So now what I want you to do is put a little bit on your hands like this. That is like literally the last of that oil. And I want you to take it and rub it between your hands like this. And then I want you to, oh, I want you to crush the smell in your hands and I want you to inhale it. Mm, that is so good. And I want you to start talking to your phone screen, your computer screen, whatever you're watching me on. And I want you to start telling me the things that you're grateful for. I want you to say it out loud to yourself, wherever you are. Maybe you're in your bedroom, maybe you're in a bathroom stall. I don't know where you are, but I want you to start saying those things out loud. What is it that you are truly grateful for? I'm gonna tell you some of the things I'm grateful for. And then if you feel like commenting them below, we would love to hear what is lighting up your life right now. So mm, for me, I'm loving having FaceTime calls that make me laugh. I'm loving sitting in my garden. I'm loving taking naked naps every afternoon because it's so hot, there's nothing else to do. I'm loving mm, impromptu picnics on random patches of grass and getting dressed up just for myself and beautiful, beautiful weather. And the jasmine tree, plant, whatever in my backyard fully bloomed yesterday and it smells so unbelievable. Mm. So gratitude plus scent is one of my favorite ways to get really grounded in the moment and bring us back to where we are. Take us out of future tripping, take us out of obsessing about the past and bring us to right here, right now. Super, super powerful. And I do this in every single ritual that I hold every time, every single time. The first thing that we do is we put gratitude oil on our hands and we think about what we're grateful for. We tell it to the people around us. And the reason for that is not just to bring us into the present because obviously being in the present is so important, but it helps us to manifest. Because if you are in a place of scarcity and lack and fear and it's not enough and you can't see the good things in your life, you will never be able to manifest more. So the first step in manifesting anything ever is to really double down on your gratitude, to really feel into it, to not take anything for granted, and to really practice appreciation. It's the most powerful prayer you can ever say is simply, thank you. So thank you for being here. And thank you for trusting me in this moment. And thank you for spending date night with me. I love this. I love this. This is great. We should do this every week. So I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about in this ritual tonight. And I ordered some perfume samples a few days ago from this company called Lucky Scent that I really love. They have these very unique perfumes. And I ordered all these chocolate scented perfumes that I was just loving. And I was putting like little testers of them on my hands and I was sitting on my couch and I was sniffing them and I was really overcome. They just smelled so good. And I was thinking about how I'm going to wear these perfumes for lovers in the future. And I was thinking about all the things that I want to do next. And this is the most amazing time where we are in an incubation period. Everything has slowed down, whether we like it or not. And you might be running around your house like a maniac, you might be working, you might be cleaning furiously, you might be organizing closets, although it's been like a month and a bit by now, you're probably done all of that. But we're in an incubation period where we get to fully recreate ourselves. We get to dream big about what we want next. And we get to establish a whole new self. When lockdown is over, you can walk out of your house and be anyone that you want. You are basically in a beautiful, creative hibernation period. And I've been seeing so many artists 
create the most incredible work lately because they're not distracted by everything else that's going around them. They have time to just sit and think about what they want to make and what they want to create. And that is what we get to do too. And so we get to do this around our love lives as well. Whatever is going on in your love life, whether you want your love life, your like already existing romance to be more juicy, whether you want more sex, whether you want to feel brave enough to trust and date again, whether you want lots of cute boys sending you text messages every morning, whatever you want, you get to have it. You get to think about it. You get to focus on it and bring it to fruition. Because as you already know, if you have been following me for a long time, you get what you think about all day long. So let's think about things that are beautiful. Let's think about things that make us feel so excited and lit up and things that really are a whole definition of who we want to be in this new world. Because the world that we were in is gone. It's gone. It's like an old planet. And there were beautiful things about that planet, but now we're in a new one. And so if you want to make this new planet, your Venus, your love temple, your whatever, you get to do that. You get to do that. We have never in history had a hard reset like this ever. It's literally never happened. And we have so much power. We're at home. Most of us are very safe at home. We have access to the internet. We can learn. We can listen to affirmations, we can tap, we can exercise, we can visualize, we can meditate for hours. You can create whatever you want in this moment. And it's a beautiful moment and we are so privileged to be able to watch an Instagram live and even think about it and talk about it. So let's not squander this opportunity because this is not going to last forever. In not too long, we're going to be back in the world again. It'll be business as usual, pretty much. And you'll be distracted by work and traffic and paying your bills and all of those things. But now is a time where you get to do things differently. You get to reimagine your new life. And I want you to start reimagining it right now. So this is something that you might want to do some journaling on tonight. This might be something that you want to really sit down and think about and do some like real processing on. Think about the things that haven't worked for you in the past that you are ready to change. The patterns that you are ready to fully discard and the types of experiences that you're ready to call in. It might have been that you were too afraid to date. It might have been that you were too afraid to ask for what you wanted in bed. It might have been that you were too afraid to say what your bottom line was when it came to dating. But there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. There's nothing to be afraid of. Everything is different. People are looking at their lives completely differently. We are fully reappraising our lives in a totally new way and that is so beautiful. This is the first time in history that, like I said, we've had a hard reset and also that we're all experiencing the same thing at the same time. And yeah, some people have it a lot harder than us. And we would be doing everyone a disservice to not take advantage of where we are right now. What a fucking waste. Can you imagine how mad they'd be if they were able to do this and then they saw you and you weren't doing it? So we really have an obligation, a responsibility to step up for ourselves, for the people that watch us, that are influenced by us, for everyone and for our future selves. I want us to do things that are going to make our future selves proud. Super, super important. So in Hologram Heart, which is my brand new book, ah, which is all about love and dating and the pre-sale with the early bird, special treats, amazing goodies that if you already have, you can gift to a friend. And obviously being generous is the best way to manifest things, which you should already know. But in my new book, the first thing that happens when you buy it is you get access to a tapping session called the Ideal Lover Tapping. Now, if you are in Hologram Heart, and I know a bunch of you are, oh my goodness, knocking over my water, it's a whole thing. I know a bunch of you are already in there, so I know that a lot of you have already done this Ideal Lover Tapping, and it is super powerful. When I was doing it, I had goosebumps all over my body. The reactions are 
insane. It is so, so powerful. So this is a miniature version of that because no matter what you are going through right now, there's no way that you don't have space for more love in your life. You do. You do. That's the best thing about love is it's never like you hit your capacity, right? I remember thinking this when I had a dog. This is going to sound ridiculous to people who have children. I know it doesn't compare, but I don't have children and I don't want children. So this is my closest comparison that I have. When I had my first dog, Hank Williams, I loved him so much, so much. He was my buddy. He was my fucking buddy. He would lean on me every night, all 60 pounds of him with his big pit bull head. And we were just so in love. I just didn't want to be anywhere else. Just basically like my husband. I mean, I had a husband, but my dog was really my husband. And we saw this other dog that we wanted to rescue. And we thought, man, she's so cute. But I kind of felt like if we get this other dog, I don't know if I'm going to have enough love for her. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe I won't have enough love to give to this dog. But here's the amazing thing that happened when we got that other dog whose name was Dolly. What a sweetheart. My heart grew 10 sizes. And I was jubilant. I was ecstatic. I was walking on fucking air to have both of those dogs like lick my face at the same time, to watch them cuddle up together, to watch them snuggle with me and my husband in the bed was so amazing, so beautiful. So you always have more space for love. And that is the most exciting thing about it. You'll never hit your limit. You could have 10 children and you could have five more and you'd still have more love to give. Your heart would just keep exploding over and over again. So we're going to do some tapping on bringing in more love, opening up to love even more than you already are. So if you are ready for that, I want you to like hold down that heart button like it's a, I don't know, champagne dispensing button. Just hold it down. And then I want you to just show me by way of hearts scrolling up the screen that you are ready to do this tapping. And if you have not tapped before, you can leave a comment and let us know. We would love to welcome you into tapping because it's super powerful. But I think you've probably all done it by now. So if you have not tapped before, it's really easy. We're going to use the fingers on our hands to tap on meridian points in our bodies where the energy flows the most strongly. And what we do with tapping is we unblock stuck energy so that we can create new things. And it is hot. It is hot, 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 hot diggity dog. I use tapping to get rid of asthma and eating disorder, depression, back pain, hay fever, cat allergies, honey, honey. It is truly a life changer. So let's do some tapping on opening ourselves up to more love it's going to feel really good. And I'm going to get a pillow from my knees because I'm crouching right now and I'm 36 years old. You know what I mean? So sometimes you need a pillow and that's okay. That's okay. You just got to do what you got to do to be comfortable. You know, I'm so elegant. Okay. Hello. Hello. We're back and we're bad. Okay. So we're going to do some tapping on opening ourselves up to love. So excited. Let's fucking do this. I am so ready. We're going to start on the top of the head and I just want you to repeat after me. So easy. Here we go. Whew. You don't have to say whoo, but you can if you want to. Even though my heart is already pretty big, I am open to more love. Even though I feel like maybe I'm at my love capacity, I am open to more love. Even though maybe being open to more love would be terrifying, I am still open to love. And I am open to finding it in amazing places. I am open to being surprised by love. I am open to a love shock. And as I think about drawing more love into my life, 
I realize that the first thing I need to do is know that I'm worthy of love. Is know that no matter what I do, no matter what I've done in the past, no matter what mistakes I may have made, I am still lovable. I am totally worthy of love. And even though love has sometimes been hard for me, or love has been painful, I am still willing to be brave. I am still willing to be open. I am still willing to take a risk and prove to myself what a fucking badass I am. Because I am not afraid. I am ready for whatever love wants to throw at me. Because I know that the universe is always looking out for me. And I know that life is happening for me and not to me. So even though I don't know if I could experience more love, today I'm willing to crack open my heart's door just a little bit. I'm just pushing that door open a tiny little bit so that more light can come through. Even though love has been challenging for me, even though sometimes love has brought me pain, I am willing to wipe the fucking slate I am ready to let go of those old memories. I'm ready to let go of that old pain. Because I know now that I've learned the lessons. And I'm now ready to do something different. I'm ready to move into my beautiful future. So even though this is scary, and even though this is hard, I deeply and completely love and accept and forgive myself. And maybe even anyone else who contributed to my fear of love. It made me feel like love wasn't safe. Because I'm sure they weren't doing it on purpose. And I refuse to let events from the past dictate how good of a life I can live today. I get to live as big a life as I want. And nothing from my past is going to hold me back. Because I'm a fucking badass after all. And so it is. Okay. Take a deep breath in. The deepest breath you've ever taken. Take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And let it go. I am gonna drink some water. How is that feeling for everybody? Do you feel peaceful? Do you feel open? Do you feel that you are letting go of some old things? Woo, honey. Mm. Lots of yawning. 
I love a good yawn. My favorite. So much yawning. Yes. Fucking fantastic. Because this, the craziest thing about love is that, unfortunately, in order to really move into a space of attracting more love and feeling safe in love and really connecting with someone else in a deeply meaningful way, the bad news is that we have to learn forgiveness. And this is something that I only started to realize recently. I started to realize that in order to manifest love, your mind and your heart have to be in alignment. And if you are holding resentment or bitterness or sadness, you cannot attract healthy love that sticks around. You might attract something for a little while, but then it goes and disappears. So see someone's comment is forgiveness is very hard. Traditionally, I would say yes, but I've discovered this unbelievable tapping protocol that you can use for forgiveness. So the same way that you can use tapping for anxiety or depression or fear, you can use tapping for forgiveness. And it absolutely speeds it up so fast so that all those events from the past that you feel like you could never get over, that you would never be able to move on from, you can fully release them. And that is fucking incredible. I've never seen anyone using tapping for forgiveness in this way where you're systematically going through it. It's so unbelievably powerful and it's all in hologram heart. That's something that I'm going to be teaching you within this course as we work through this over the year, we're going to be working through forgiving all of those things, even forgiving our parents. <gasps> Holy shit, because here's the thing. The people you're attracted to was set up by your mother fucking family of origin. And it'd be really easy to look at your parents and be like, you fucked me up. This is your fault. I attract narcissists because of you. I attract addicts because of you. But if you're feeling that way, if you're connected to that, you keep attracting them because it's all you can think about. We have to change our thoughts to create and attract new things. And that means we have to forgive some motherfuckers that are hard to forgive, or at least like seem hard to forgive, but they're not. You can forgive them in one tapping session. And that shit is a fucking game changer. I honestly don't understand why more people don't connect tapping and manifesting because it is literally the holy grail. And I know that this sounds hard, scary, crazy. We don't want to look at our family shit. We don't want to go there. But if you have a good guide who's been there before, and who knows that you'll come out the other side and be totally safe and in fact will feel free on the other side, you're fucking golden. You are so golden. So I'm really excited to get into that with you. Like literally the shit you will be experiencing in your love life in a year from now when we work through all of this stuff will blow your mind. Okay, so we did our tapping and I hope you enjoyed it, but we're not done. It's like those um, infomercials for Ginsu knives. It's like, but wait, there's more, which is always my favorite thing to say. But wait, there's more. There is more. There is more. So here's what we're going to do. Now that we are feeling open to love, we are feeling like there's some like good love energy flowing. Are you feeling it? Because I feel it. I feel it, honey. It's like you're doing it. I'm doing it. We're doing it all together. Hot, 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 hotty, McHot. Someone said, can it be applied to self-love too? So yes, the forgiveness piece, a big, 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 big piece of forgiveness is forgiving yourself for staying in things too long, for being with people who didn't treat you right, and for over-functioning, 
for trying to fix people, for going for the same kind of person over and over and over and over again. The biggest piece of forgiveness we have to do is with ourselves. And it's so fucking easy. It's so fucking easy. And you will feel like a totally new person. I keep getting these comments recently over say the last like two weeks where people are like, you are glowing. And it's because I'm doing this work. I literally have never felt better. It is powerful shit. So I'm very excited for you to do this too. Okay. Okay. So here we go. This is the next piece of this. And this is where like the real magic comes in. So if you're like into some real magic shit, it's that time. It's that time. So here's what we're going to do. I want you to close your eyes to me. And I want you to think about what you are calling in tonight. What is it that you want? What is it that you want? Do you want marriage? Do you want children? Do you want a boyfriend? Do you want a girlfriend? Do you want a lover in every city so you can travel and have a good time with all of them? Do you just want like lots of dates? Do you want to go out every weekend with someone fun? Do you want someone who will cook you dinner? Do you want someone who you can go on road trips with? What's your vision? What is it that you really, really want? And now, here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> this is ladies slash gentlemen's choice. You get to do this any way that you want. You can either type it in the comment box if you wanna share like that, or you can say it to the screen. Cause this is magic, honey. The rules don't apply. Right? There's no physics here. Fuck that shit. We do things differently. So what we're going to do is you are either going to type it in the box or you're going to say it to the screen when I hold something up. I have this piece of paper that is very special and I'm going to hold it up to the screen. I know this sounds really weird, but this is how we do internet magic. I'm going to hold this piece of paper up to the screen and it's going to capture everything that you say out loud slash type. I'm gonna hold it up there for maybe like 30 seconds. So you can say anything you want. You can say as much or as little as you like. Are you ready? I may have to take this off so I don't set myself on fire. Let's do that. I'm gonna hold this up and we're, gonna, we're just gonna time it. So you're just gonna send your thought into this. So go for it. Whatever you want, whatever you are into, whatever excites you, send it into this. You can say it out loud if that works for you. You can just type it. You can tell me a story about what you want out loud. Everything that I'm seeing in the box is so beautiful. And I know that it's so real because you're all such beautiful people. I speak to almost all of you in my DMs and I know what you're like and I know how good your heart is and I know that you are deserving of this and that you're ready for this. Even though it may scare you, you're still fucking ready. I love these comments. They're so beautiful. Look at you guys. Okay, so when you're done, hit that hot button and let me know that I can bring this down. I love your wishes, they're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. I love it. All right. Now, we're gonna set this on fire because that's what we do in magic. We take things, this is like all manifesting, right? You focus on what you want and you get super clear. You see it in your mind and then you let it go and that's why we burn things in magic because it's the ultimate demonstration that we can let it go that we don't need to hold on to it like this that we can truly truly let it go are you ready for it to go up in flames are you ready to let it go are you ready to let the universe do the work for you because i am are you ready you're so ready you were ready yesterday you just didn't know it but now you really know it 
I have a pink flame wand. I mean, it's a barbecue lighter, but I like to call it a flame wand because it is. This is my cauldron, the jumbo cauldron, special for you. Are you ready? Are you ready? While I do this, I would love to see some applause in the chat. I would love for you to yell and scream and cheer in your homes. Are you ready? Here we go. Pray that my fire alarm doesn't go off as well. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. She's sizzling. She's sizzling. Yes. Let it go. Do you see that smoke? It's real. So as this goes up, I want you to visualize your wish. You already placed it. You placed your cosmic order. And now you get to just chill the fuck out and enjoy your life. That is the other secret of manifesting is that you have to enjoy the way there, which means you got to do everything you can every single day to feel good. Feeling good is your job. And the more good you feel, the faster things happen. Works like a charm every single time. This is still sizzling, BT dubs. It's almost done, but it's not quite done because you have big fucking dreams and they're hot. And that's very special. She's almost done. She's almost done. Okay. She's done. And so it is, my babies. And so it is. There is no reason why you cannot have absolutely everything that you want. You're all such beautiful people. And like I said, I know this because I talk to you guys all the time. You can have anything that you want. And I want you to remember that. Truly. Truly. So, this was just a little taste of what goes down in Hologram Heart. We have so much coming that you don't even know about. And if you buy it before May 1st, you get all these amazing goodies. My Love Rehab course, which is about getting over your ex. My second book, Radical Radiance, which is all about manifesting and feeling good, which also comes with the audiobook and tapping and all these other things. You get my Metaphysical Matchmaker class, which is about online dating. And you get immediate access to the Ideal Lover Tapping, which is so powerful. Like I said earlier, it is a total game changer. Absolutely amazing. And <clears throat> the comments we're getting in Hologram Heart already are absolutely amazing. The community is so beautiful. I always have so much faith in the communities that I build online. They are truly the best people ever, 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 ever. So if you feel inspired by this, if this made you feel good, if that tapping opened your heart in a new way, this is only a fraction of what is going to occur within Hologram Heart. And I am so excited to go on this journey with you. It's the best thing I've ever written. It's super fucking real. It's vulnerable as shit. A lot of it made me really uncomfortable to write but it's true. And I wrote it because I knew that if these were things that I was struggling with or finding difficult or confusing or couldn't get my head around, then I knew that other people would be feeling the same way. And I'm proud of this book because it marries psychology and manifesting and magic all at once. Whereas usually people stick to one thing. They're like, I'm a therapist. I have to only talk about the psychological component. There's so much more to it than that. We already know that the way that we feel impacts what we manifest and what we create in our lives. So there's so many pieces to this. And in this book, I bring them all together and literally finally make sense of them. I'm super proud of it. I know that it's going to help you to feel good about your relationships, whether you're in one now or whether you're looking for one. I know that it's going to change your frequency so that you can attract completely different things. And that's it. That's it. This was, this was your Saturday night with me, 42 minutes of pure fucking magic and as much sparkle as I could possibly throw at you. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I love you guys for joining me. Thank you so much. And I really hope that I'll see you in hologram heart. You only have, I think it's five days to join, but you should just join right now. Cause then you get that tapping and you're in there and you're like, ready to roll. 
You don't have to be a last minute Larry. And most people will be a last minute Larry. That's how people are, but you don't have to be. It's a choice to be a last minute Larry. So I love you. Have the most beautiful night. Please feel free to DM me and let me know how you're feeling after this tapping, whether you feel lit up, what happens. Often I feel like when I do love tappings with people, their crush texts them in the middle of it or whatever, which is really amazing. So please tell me your stories. I love, love, love to hear them. And you're beautiful. Thank you for being here. And I will see you pretty goddamn soon, I imagine. Bye.